Well, it's good afternoon already, my YouTube friends, and I've found a plinth. Now let me just bring it off the windowsill. Now it's 24.4 in the grow room and it's 68% uh, humidity. I've just looked over there and I've just seen one of the other orchids. That's not going to make it. Oh. Anyway, let me show you this piece of wood. And um, I've been after a plinth for quite a while. In fact, this um, uh, Cattleya walkeriana of our cerulea, um, I did put on a terracotta plinth. But I wasn't very happy with that. Now let's just move this out of the way. But you can see here, it's going absolutely berserk. And um, I don't know what made me think this morning, but I was putting the Mazda Valleyers outside on in the uh, nice, secure, east-facing bench. And uh, I suddenly remembered this plinth that Keith had uh, found when he was um, doing his autumn tidy-ups and it's a big plinth I suppose in some ways it could do with splitting in half but there again there's a huge big crack all the way across the top so if you try to split it there you may you may unfortunately split it there so now I've got my hand here now the only problem I had I thought oh look at this look at the markings and actually I thought this was the nicer side I have um, cleaned it with hydrogen peroxide this morning uh, I've got a piece of a sticky out branch there and uh, in, and inside one of these, two of these holes there was um, a nail, a big rusted nail and it was sticking out the top here and I've got that one out but I can't get, I think it's this one, I can't get this one out and I had thought about um, securing um, Walkeriana this way. But you see, look, I've just got a bit of a slight wobble. Then I thought, well, bring it up here, like this. And that would let air underneath. And this is where I want to ask those who deal with wood um, whether I'm best doing that. You see, there's the underside of uh, Walkeriana. So what I've done on the windowsill, I've got a piece of polystyrene like this, um, simply because... Um, I don't want it just sitting on the windowsill, which is painted. Now, which is the one? That's the one that's got the... You see, that's clear. That's clear. That, so that's still got a rusty nail in there. But when I turned it over, I'd got these nice ridges here, haven't I? And then, by having those ridges there, this sits better, if you see what I mean. And, and it's still quite level underneath. But my question is, you see, I want, that's even better. If I bring it forward here, my question is, do I um, put wood glue? I mean, I mean this top here and the base is one piece which I sawed and stuck with wood glue which is absolutely fine 
all. So do I stick it on with wood glue? Do I drill it on? Or would you just, for the time being, um, just leave it as it is like this? See, what I'm worried about is bringing the two pieces of wood together. And um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, this massive piece of wood here <coughs> um, came off a, um, a conifer, massive, <coughs> big tall conifer. And uh, I mean it elevates it, really elevates it up into the uh, <coughs> window area. But then whether it sits. You see what I don't want it to do is when, when those, if you like, um, roots go down. When those roots go down and hit this wood here, I don't want them um, being impeded by the styrofoam. I just want this one to have a home, if you like, it's for forever home. So what would you do? I mean, this one's got roots coming out of everywhere. I'm hoping this might flower next year. You see, this root here, I keep lifting it up, but really it wants to go down, you see. And it could go down quite quickly now and attach to this piece of wood. So do you think putting wood glue and sticking it that way <coughs> and uh, I won't cover that because that's where that rusty uh, rusty nail is. Anyway just a thought if anybody's got time to answer me. It just fits on that windowsill doesn't it? And uh, I couldn't have wished to have found a, a nicer plinth. I mean, it's going to be quite heavy to lift off. But then again, I don't mind that. Just looking on this leaf here with these marks. Can you see them? I'm hoping there's nothing underneath. No, because I'm paranoid at the moment. Anyway, thanks for joining me. And... Uh, if anybody is inclined to answer, I'd uh, greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye now.